Runners and bikers are frustrated this evening because of the damage that landslides have done to a local park. Some say the situation is dangerous. John Shumway spoke with city officials and they say that repairs are in the works. And John Shumway joins us live now with more on the story. John. Yeah, and for good reason, the bikers and the joggers are concerned because my right foot is standing on the white line that should be the right side of the jogging and biking path. And I'm about six feet down below the running surface here in Riverview Park. This is one of four of these slides in the park. Riverview Avenue in the park is carefully lined off. Walkers, bikers, and joggers to the sides, cars down the middle. And it works until you get to one of the growing number of landslides that have taken out the pedestrian paths. Well, you have to walk in the, the way where the cars go. You know, you have to go around it. Folks who enjoy this park say slides are really nothing new. It's never been a real big issue for more than a day. But these slides are a bit more serious. In the last uh, several months, we've had three slides. But we've had others before that, like I said, have no real effect on the park. But the ones that have been more recent have had effects on you know, how people travel. And it's not just a quick cleanup. We'd love to move the material off, but uh, you know, fooling around with it may help to promote more of a slide. So the city has called in the geotechnical experts. And we're going to wait for those reports to come back, and that will help us decide how we need to proceed with correcting those landslides. Meanwhile, at the Parks Activities Building. That's out of commission right now because we have a broken sewer line. We've got a landslide, and there's other things to correct. PWSA will begin work on the sewer line next week, and the city will repair the rest when that work is done, in hopes of having the center back in operation by early May, when numerous rentals are already on the books. Yeah, Mike Gable made it very clear that this is a high priority for the city, not only for the activity center, but also for here along Riverview Avenue, and that April is going to be a very busy month of repairs here in the park. Live in Riverview Park, John Shumway, KDKA News.